Frost 34's Wasim Kone is in Los Angeles. Here's what he told us. It does appear that Los Angeles was spared the brunt of the storm, but it is a different story in some of those desert and mountain towns north and east of the city. We've seen dozens of reports of significant flash flooding, of mudslides, of debris flows, and of evacuations. One of the area's hardest hit, the town of Palm Springs, a very popular vacation destination. That town, other areas of the deserts of Southern California, is seeing several months' worth of rain fall in just 24 to 48 hours. And this evening, we've heard reports of several water rescues, people stuck in their vehicles uh, in the hills north of Malibu, that is west of Los Angeles. There were fears that this storm would have significant impacts on the power grid. That has not materialized, thankfully, but uh, we are seeing still 40,000 people without power. Electrical companies are hoping to restore power to those customers in the next few hours and by Monday morning. There will be consequences for some of the students in this area. Hundreds of thousands of students will be staying home because the LA school district and several other school districts have decided to keep schools closed this Monday to make sure that none of their infrastructure has been impacted by the storm, that there are no leaks in any of the schools. And of course, it is worth reminding that this is extremely unusual any time of the year, but especially in August, it is the driest month of the year in Los Angeles. It averages zero millimeters of rain for the entire month. So this amount of rain falling at such an unusual time of the year could be very good news as we go into peak fire season in September and October.